Hi, Colin Birchall here from Smart Technologies and a huge welcome to our Smart Partner community and welcome to another That's a Smart Idea. The one minute video, which never lasts a minute guys, come on, you know the score by now, where we here at Smart for Business help you, our smart partners, sell more smart business products into your customers and add value to your smart business proposition. So today I am joined by two absolute legends within the smart, smart family. I'm joined by Rick English and I'm also joined by Charlie Levison. Hi guys. Hey, Colin. Good to see you again. So, um, this is uh, we're doing a two two videos uh, two parts this week next week around uh, high secure. So just so um, just before we start, and just to introduce yourselves because I can't believe there's not people who don't know who you are. But um, Rick, could you tell me what your position is at Smart? Sure. Thanks, Colin. I'm the uh, channel manager for Federal Government Solutions here in the United States. We handle all uh, North America federal government, that's DOD, and all the uh, civilian agencies that fall under the federal government. Great. And Charlie, what, what do you do at SMART? Surely I don't need to introduce myself, but I, I will, I will. I'm a senior business solutions consultant for the international team at SMART. We we actually share, we actually do the same role, don't we, Charlie? So me asking you that seems a bit Indeed. weird really so um guys thanks again for joining us i know how busy you are right now and especially i know rick you're in the middle of a real big buying season over in uh, north america right now and i think the reason why i want to do this video i wanted to uh, get a lot of our partners on board about what is high secure what are our high secure solutions so when we talk about high high secure what do we mean exactly that's a great question Colin, the, what we mean by high secure for smart is it refers to a range of features and protocols designed to ensure that the devices meet the most stringent of security requirements, particularly for the use of sensitive information in those environments, like government agencies, military operations, and other organizations, not just federal government, um, where the data is uh, where the data security is paramount. Here's what high secure typically includes with smart: no Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth no camera and no microphone array so it really protects your data ensures that that security is there for you okay that's great that's good to know because i think it's one of the things we get asked a lot about and when we talk about high secure because of our range of products that we've got what models are we normally talking about that are high secure within our smart range well we we just introduced our new smart m series pro and that that is comes both in the high secure, which is our M400 series, comes in 55, 65, 75, and 86 inch. And then we also have our non-secure, which is our M500 series, which is all the same sizes, but they're now made in North America as well. Okay. And that's part of the, the high secure offering. And does that does that mean that it's TAA compliant when it's made in North America or made in a country that associated with North America? So how what TAA means? TAA means it's made in a, uh, a country that's favorable and friendly to the United States. And the reason that we choose those countries is because of the security stringencies that the government puts on us as well as the end users. And we moved it to North, uh, Mexico because you never know when uh, some of these other countries that may be TAA compliant this month may not be TAA compliant the next month. This is more towards Charlie as well. On on TAA compliancy, we've been finding a lot of countries that have been partnered with the United States are starting to ask around that. Is that that's something that we've had recently, isn't it? Really, and that's something that's um, becoming more and more prevalent. Uh, so you've got things like the the U uh, US, Australia, and UK governments reaching an agreement together, uh, the UCUS uh, agreement, which uh, has seen countries like Australia where they're now very much uh, looking for TAA compliance and boards and of course SMART has that full range uh, available to them um, and we're starting to see that happening within the UK as well because obviously uh, certain countries are no longer uh, applicable uh, to, to provide um, components and so on so TAA basically ticks all of those boxes and some. In smart offering of TAA obviously that's great that's a big tick box for those people concerned with that what makes smart offering unique would you say to the particular markets that taa or high secure appeals to right now guys 
Well, I, I can speak for North America. Is the SMART works very strenuous, very hard to make sure that we have authority to operate so, or what we call in the business ATOs with each one of these organizations because just one does not translate to another organization. And we make very we work very hard to make sure those requirements are up to date and across all different agencies. Charlie, I think sorry. from a, a, an international perspective, it's very much a case of um, what we do in the States echoes very loudly across the rest of the globe. Uh, so having those those very stringent rules and uh, uh, products available for customers across the globe fills them with confidence as, as to why they would want smart. Uh, the beauty of it as well, of course, is as we've dealt deeper and deeper into the, the high secure side of things, we've actually seen a lot of other companies uh, that aren't necessarily defence or military focused that are actually looking for those types of boards that Rick mentioned. Um, you know, oil and gas, for example, uh, engineering, command and control centres, and there's plenty of those, right? So all of those types of organisations are looking for that extra level of security, which is what SMART has in abundance. We're definitely seeing that, if I can top up, also definitely seeing it in the Blue Light District, as well as state and county governments. Yeah. And I guess that's because of some of the offerings we have around our software, like Smart Inc. and, and Smart Meeting Pro, because it works so well with commonly used productivity apps in, in those agencies, I suppose. Right. Yeah. And with those with those offerings, we don't we don't charge for annual licenses and we don't charge for initial upfront licensing agreement as well. That's a that's a massive tick for a lot of IT guys, I guess. You know, they know they're not going to have that perpetual cost or that uh, that annuity that they're going to have to pay out with, like they do with other applications. Okay, guys. Well, we've run out of time today uh, for this for this part, but we're going to be back in part two. And um, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to the guys. I'm going to see you on part two. Thanks for joining us. And um, I'd also say I'd say a huge thank you to our smart partners out there. Uh, we're not number one without your support and your help. So thank you for your continued support um i'd also like to say if you need to um accelerate your smart sales uh we have a lot of these videos on our youtube channel i'm going to post the link below uh so please if you know no one can have enough of smart ideas and the like please tune into that have a look at that uh so until next time thank you for joining us uh keep on winning out there and trying new things because that's a smart idea